Okay, now you guys, this is going to be a real scary story. So if anybody got a heart condition, they better cover their ears. All right, now everybody be quiet. And no crying. Because it's a real scary story that my grandfather told me right before he died. Once upon a time, there was three little pigs. And no, no, wait a minute now. This is about three other little pigs. This is about three real bad little pigs who used to mess up the house all the time. And they'd leave all their clothes laying all over and their, their toys on the stairs. And they used to run around the house all day and yell and scream and never shut up and, or blow their nose or nothing. And the worst thing, they used to never lift up the toilet seat. And this made their mother real mad. So one day, the mother says to the father, I'm sick up and fed with these three little pigs. All they do all day is run around the house and make noise and they never clean up their room or blow their nose. And the worst thing, I'm getting sticky buns. And the father said, yeah, I know. And I'm sick up and fed with those three little pigs too. So I got an idea. Tomorrow, when the three little pigs go to school, Let's move. So early the next morning, the father got up and went down and rented a U-Haul trailer. And then he came back and stopped by the supermarket and picked up a whole bunch of cardboard boxes and brought them all home. And they packed everything in the whole house except for the ring around the bathtub. And then they moved right across the street to her mother's house. Because they knew the three little pigs would never find them there because they weren't allowed to cross the street by themselves. So that afternoon, when the three little pigs came home from school, they went into the house to turn on the TV to watch cartoons. And the first thing they noticed was there was no cartoons and no TV to watch them on. And they looked around the house and they said, Hey, I think somebody moved. And the second little pig said, Yeah, I think it was our parents. And the third little pig said, Well, where are we going to watch cartoons? Then, all of a sudden, there came a big knock on the door. Boom, boom, boom. So the three little pigs ran over to the window to see who it was. And they saw that it was the landlord. So the first little pig, remembering what his father told him to say when the landlord came around, yelled out, There's nobody home! And the landlord didn't believe that. So he knocked on the door again. Boom, boom, boom. So the second little pig said, The check's in the mail! And the landlord still didn't believe that either. And he knocked on the door again. Boom, boom, boom. And then the third little pig said, Hey, landlord, can we come over to your house and watch cartoons? And that made the landlord really mad. Because he hated cartoons. Especially the Flintstones. So the landlord banged on the door again and said, Hey, you pigs, you let me in. And the first little pig said, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the landlord went nuts, and he kicked the door in, and he walked in, and he said, Okay, which one you is the poet? And the first little pig said, Oh, you like that? I got a million of them. And the landlord said, I'll show you how much I like that. And he grabbed the little pig, and he ate them all up. And then he grabbed the second little pig, and ate him all up too. And the third little pig said, Gee, he must be mad. I never saw him do that before. I better think of something while I stall for time. And he asked the landlord, Hey, landlord, uh, do you want a promo sales or something? And the landlord just let out a big burp and kept coming towards the third little pig. So the third little pig said, Gee, this calls for desperate action. So he reached down and he took off his chew and he held it up to the landlord's face. And the landlord took one whiff and his eyes bugged out like a Volkswagen and they started watering and he fell down on his knees and started choking. And then the little pig did something he never did before in his life. He took off his sock and he stuck it in the landlord's mouth. And the landlord started gagging and choking and crying and speeding up and he fell over and he kicked his legs three times in the air and fell over dead. So the moral of the story is, always walk softly, but carry a big stink. How you like that one? Pretty good story, huh? Hey, what do you keep doing? Hey, you put your shoes back on.